Hello folks, welcome to Lester's. What I have on my bench today is a Stryker SR447 HPC2. Now this is an AM FM 10 meter radio. And you guys know that I am a sidebander. I don't care too much for AM or FM. I love sideband. But I've had several friends want me to do a video, do a review on this little radio. Uh, so here we are. I ordered one, got it in here. Uh, may start carrying it if I get a lot of positive feedback on the video. And I like the way the radio is made, then I'll carry it. It's got some weight to it, I will say that. Uh, well, let me get it out of the box here and get it all set up. Well, let's see, you might like to see what comes in the box. Hmm. Okay, well, we got the radio, we got the owner's manual. normal stuff power cable doesn't have a connector on the back of the radio though but at least it does have a connector in line so you can separate it from the power cable that's a good thing wow that's set up like the anytone and yeah, the fins look like an anytone Looks like an AT, about the same size. Yeah, it's not quite as long as a 6666. But it's probably made by Hua Jane or whatever how you pronounce that Chinese company. Okay. I know you guys don't like to hear that damn plastic. So I'll stop doing that. Let me get the book and things back in the box here. Whoever wants this radio, buys this radio, is going to want all the stuff back like it's supposed to be. Okay. I'm not going to do that up. Set the box down here out of the way. So we can check out the radio. like it's got plastic over the face some kind of protective plastic I sure hope so because if not got a bunch of scratches and crap on it yeah it's got plastic on it okay protective plastic that's good I like that all right let me get some protective tape on the uh, chrome around the bezel and get a power cable set up for it now I'll be back okay I'm back got the protective stuff on the chrome there and this has got one of those connectors that I haven't seen since the old Sears and JC Penny radios. So I had to make up a uh, power cable to run it. Uh, always make sure you put a fuse in your cable close to your power source. Okay, let's see what this does. up on FM or I guess it's shipped on FM. What is that? Oh really? You got echo built into this? <laughs> Won't be using that on the ham bands. Okay, Mike RF gain. Swelt is open. Those contest guys, they really get into it. All right. Uh, hope there's a way to change the color. Yeah, there he is. Okay. I hate that purple shit.
Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Well, I think we'll just leave it right there. Okay, what's that? That's the dimmer, I guess. 3.1 being the brightest. That's kind of neat. Okay, power's in the back. That's monitor. Let's make sure that I am on the dummy load. Yep. All right, let's check it out here. All right, looks like we're right at the bottom of the ham band. And I think it's off frequency. Oh, that's what I'm getting. Apologize for the power cable there. This piece of equipment I just took back up. Okay. Let's see what it's doing power wise. I've got a 100 watt slug on the RMS side and a 250 watt slug on the peak side. This meter is RMS, this meter is peak. Okay. Get the power cable out of the view. All right, it's dead key in about 30 watts. We're on AM. Uh, Dio. That's a little over 100 peak. They said it was powerful, and I have to agree with that. All right, what are we dead key? Sorry about that. All right, in FM, we're dead keying about 70 watts. That's, that's kind of high. So we're going to need to turn that down a little bit. Back to the AM mode. Okay, all the controls are pretty much self-explanatory. Looks like it goes from 28 megahertz even up to 29.6 so covers the full spectrum okay let's see what the power looks like up here hey and we're still doing about 30 watts audio a little over a hundred peak so that's pretty damn good and I'm kind of impressed it's a really small package okay let me pop it open and let's see what it's made of okay well I didn't know any better I swear I was inside an Anytone AT6666 I was gonna say we are missing some things we're actually not it's got both of them in there. AM, FM, local oscillator. Huh. That looks to me like they just left the stuff out for sideband. Nope, nope. That's a special made board. SR447 HPPCB1. So this is a board made just for striker. It doesn't say any tone on it. Now this Chinese company, uh, I think they're called Quazing uh, or Quazing or something like that. They make several radios. They make the any tones. They make the uh, 955s. They make these, obviously. And the quality of these boards that they manufacture for Striker is really, really good. Okay. This one's got the dual filters. We can upgrade those. We can upgrade the uh, power buffer filter. That's, that's only 470 microfarad. Just 470. We can upgrade this guy here for the voltage regulator. That's a 1000 at 25 at least. 
I don't know why they didn't at least do a 1000 there. We can also upgrade the uh, AM regulator to like a max mod. So, there's several things we can do to it. I want to check the bias on this guy. See, they've even got the jumpers down there for the uh, for the other one. So, but I can I can check the bias, make sure this thing is not going to uh, eat the finals. Overall, it's a pretty nice radio. Sure is. For the AM modulation, they just simply put a resistor across there. See, that's where the uh, one is for the any tone, but it's a uh, variable resistor. It looks like that is uh, wide open, basically. See, the value of that resistor is zero. So it's basically just a shorting resistor. Alright, so modulation is... Uh, wide open well I'm impressed I may start carrying these I like the build quality and it is nice to look at the only thing I don't like about it is there's no frequency counter so you'll need a uh, cheat sheet frequency chart got plenty of bands A through H talk back you know even got echo so it's a nice little radio I kind of wish Stryker would make one this size uh, sideband You know, AM, FM, upper, lower, sideband. That would be great. All right. Well, there you have it. That's what it looks like inside. It looks like an Anytone AT6666. Built by the same builder, I'm sure. Uh, not a bad looking little radio. I like the meter. It's pretty cool. All right, let me hook it back up. Okay, nice little radio. I am on band D. Okay. All righty. Couple of quarter watt resistors in there on the board. That's all you have to do is just uh, clip those resistors. I don't like this damn beep. Let's see if I turn the monitor off. Nope, it's still there. Hello, audio, audio, hello. Let's see. Hello, audio, audio, hello. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one works really well. Let's see how this guy works. Hello. Audio. Hello. Hello. Audio. Audio. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Okay. If you only talk on AM or FM, this is a nice little radio. I probably will start carrying them. Look for them in the store. Okay. Sim 3, everybody.